I'm Nick Miles on special assignment for TFL in a secret location. And today we're going to be one of only a handful of people to see the brand new best-selling luxury sedan in the world, the 2021 Mercedes-Benz S-Class. I'm in a secret location and Mercedes-Benz have actually asked me not to tell you where I am to look at this vehicle, the brand new Mercedes-Benz S-Class for 2021. Now every seven years or so, Mercedes evolved their S-Class, their halo luxury sedan. But this seven years is not evolved, it's not an evolution. In this seven years for 2021, it's a revolution. In fact, this vehicle is the most technically advanced digital S-Class ever. The Mercedes-Benz S-Class was originally called the Sonder Class for special class. It's the halo car for the German manufacturer introduced in 1972. The S-Class is not only a limousine and halo car for the brand, but it is used by Mercedes as a platform to debut many of the company's latest innovations, including performance technologies, safety technology, and interior features. The S-Class is ranked as the world's best-selling luxury sedan. The 2021 S-Class model will have a short model year being replaced by a more future-intensive 2022 model, in September of 2021. Some of those yet unannounced 2022 model year features will be updated by the new Mercedes-Benz over-the-air update technologies. When it comes to design, Mercedes-Benz are really good about getting their proportions correct. Even though this has a huge new grille up front, it still looks proportionate when you look at the lights and this long sweeping hood. Also has the hood ornament here, the Mercedes-Benz Star. Now that's disappeared from most Mercedes-Benz around the world. However, it always will remain on the S-Class. And of course, this has the built-in safety feature. If something hits it, it folds flat to the hood. Now, the daytime running lights are a pure signature for Mercedes-Benz S-Class. These three dot daytime running lights will always be visible day or night. But these lights are so advanced, they are digital lights. What do they do differently from a regular light? Well, these lights actually have micro mirrors, 1.3 million of them, that actually have a 2.6 million pixels. Why do pixels matter in a digital light? These lights, will be able in the future to project things onto the road, roadwork symbols or spotlight a pedestrian. Now, they don't come with a 2021 model, but they can come in the future when regulation arrives. And the great thing about all Mercedes-Benz is they will do in the S-Class over the air updates, which means when new things become available on the vehicle, Mercedes-Benz will be able to send a code to the car and activate them as the law allows. The 2021 S-Class gets the company's latest iteration of the design language. A simple style with some lines removed to represent what Mercedes call sensuous and classic aesthetics and puristic design. The very first S-Class that I ever saw was this camo version and the first thing my eye was drawn to was the fact that the door handles have a camo box built around them. So I already knew something really cool was coming with the new S-Class door handles. Have a look what they did. So this is the final vehicle and you can see there's this door handle which is flush with the car. Oh look, it pops out. And that way you can open the car. And I'm told by Mercedes-Benz as well that in freezing conditions or in extremely hot desert conditions, this door handle will still work normally. The rear window now has quite a dramatic look. And even though this is an all-wheel drive sedan, designers have used rear-wheel drive proportions for the car. 
When it comes to side design, this vehicle is outstanding. It's a bigger, longer, wider, taller Mercedes-Benz S-Class, but it retains some of those very key S-Class characteristics. Short overhangs, optional 21-inch wheels. Take a look at the very pure sides. There's one single line down the side here. It's called the catwalk line. Apart from that, a very slow S-curve in the body. This vehicle has rear wheel steering. What does that mean? It means that it has the same turning radius as the entry-level sedan that Mercedes-Benz have, the A-Class. This vehicle, to coin a phrase, can turn on a dime. It has that rear wheel steering to make sure you can get into parking spaces that any other vehicle of this length that didn't have that and wouldn't be able to get into that parking space. Plus, there's safety right here in the side of the vehicle. The strongest part of any vehicle is the frame. That's what the vehicle sits on. And the frame runs along the bottom here. So if you have impact from a car coming in to T-bone you, the best place for it to hit is as low as possible. Well, this vehicle will raise itself up with hydraulics to take the impact as close to the frame as possible, dispersing all that energy and keeping everybody in the car safe, all those occupants. Plus, although this is an all-wheel drive vehicle, take a look at this huge C-pillar. This C-pillar speaks rear-wheel drive, muscular, power, luxury. It's all go with the design on the side of the new S-Class. We'll have to wait for an on-road performance test and see how the ride and handling feel when we can get behind the wheel. The new Mercedes-Benz S-Class will be on sale as an S500 4Matic sedan and an S580 4Matic sedan. Both engines will get the supplemental 48 volt onboard electric system technology with EcoBoost adding 21 horsepower for short bursts of power. This will also impact the yet unannounced fuel economy numbers. The S500 will have a 3 liter inline 6 turbo with 2,999cc displacement, generating 429 horsepower and 384 pound speed of torque. The S580 will have a 4 liter V8 turbo with 3,982 cubic centimeters of displacement with 496 horsepower and 516 pounds feet torque. Both models will have the G9 Tronic 9 speed automatic transmission. Both will also be electronically limited at 130 miles an hour. Once we get on the inside of the brand new S-Class, too much to talk about just to do in this video. First of all, brand new key fob from Mercedes-Benz. Second of all, this has a cascading waterfall look on the inside. Everything looks like it's running down the dash. Look at this huge, long, projected piece of dash here, and it all has this sort of carbon fiber style look. The gauges are super tactile and super high quality. Two really large screens, one in front of the driver, and one down the center, which looks like maybe the way an iPad would look. Huge big screens, but plus there's extra stuff in these screens as well. They actually have 3D. Now, when you go to the movie theater, you gotta take off a pair of glasses and put a pair of their glasses on for 3D to see the movie. Not here, regular glasses, you can see everything in 3D. Plus, the heads up display, 35 feet out is like a 77 inch TV. It's absolutely huge and it gives you loads more information than a lot of the competition, including some of that augmented reality creeps into the heads up display. Now, what can this vehicle do? Inside, very beautiful. Of course, Mercedes have made the interior lighting, the LED lighting on the inside of the vehicles, very much their own. 64 different colors, 250 LED bulbs, and there's some really cool stuff here. So if you can see these bulbs up front, this blue line, if I want to change the temperature and I go hotter, it actually flashes red. And as I go up in temperature, it changes to red. As I go down in temperature, it changes to blue. I can go red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, just like a police car. It's kind of cool. You can change this interior. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? I'm tired. You should take a break at the next suitable place. Until then, I will turn on the Vitality program. 
the Vitality program, the seat is massaging me vigorously. It'll have the music, which I have turned down right now. It also will change the air conditioning. You see the LED lights have changed on the inside and I'll start to get a Vitality sense of smell. This has an outstanding sound system in it and you can feel the sound, the vibration go through you. Traditionally, Mercedes-Benz has two main rivals, the Audi A8 and the BMW 7 Series. But recently, Lexus have been pulling some of the German customers and selling them the Lexus LS. This is a growing market for Lexus. Mercedes also consider the Porsche Panamera to be a competitor to the S-Class. As we get further into the future, Mercedes are making a lot of their safety systems standard in this vehicle. For instance, the adaptive cruise control standard in this vehicle as well. A lot of convenient features now come as standard in the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Wireless, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay, wireless charging, six USB ports, as well as a lot of those safety features that you might have to have paid extra for in the past. The 2020 S-Class starts at $94,250 for the S450 and if you step up to the S560e it starts at $109,750 before delivery charges. The pricing and fuel economy of the 2021 S-Class has not been announced but with many new and groundbreaking features expect the price to go north. I have the luxury of traveling a lot for my job and I have to tell you that I get to walk through first class quite a lot on the way back to my coach seat and this is a lot nicer than any first class aircraft I have ever seen. It comes with a beautiful plush Ottoman style executive rear in the back of the new S-Class and you get to do personalized settings to actually set how every different instrument feels. But it's not just about luxury and comfort, it's about safety in the rear of the vehicle too. Mercedes have been groundbreaking in making sure that all occupants of their vehicles are safe throughout their journey journey, including the installation of rear airbags. And these airbags don't explode and deploy like many of the explosive front airbags. They deploy in a timely manner, but in a way, as the passenger goes forward, they meet the airbag, which wraps its wings around that passenger, keeping them safe at the back of the vehicle. So not only do you ride in style, but you ride in the security of knowing that the brand new S-Class has you comfortable and safe. What you will see in the 2021 S-Class will filter down to many Mercedes-Benz in the next few years, then will filter to other brands. When we finally get to test drive the brand new S-Class, we will be able to tell you more about the groundbreaking features that it'll have. This is Nick Miles with a first look at the 2021 S-Class for TFL Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and reveal reviews.